What's up guys? So back with another video. I had a few people reach out to me on Instagram and really uh, just a couple messages there on YouTube uh, asking about my uh, bed cover. So um, a lot of guys are debating on a few different brands. Uh, it's I got the, the Lear HF650M. I've had it for right out of a year. I actually bought it for a road trip we did. We were going to put luggage and stuff back there as we went out of state. Uh, but first off, let you know this is not a sponsored video. Uh, just doing it from a subscriber's request and want to go through it. So why did I go with Lear is my first question, right? So I went with Lear because just, just growing up as a kid, most of the uh, most popular brands that they had for tops on, on trucks were, uh, were Lear. I thought the best looking ones as a kid growing up were Lear. Uh, looked at a few other brands before I did this one. Um, but I've had a Lear in the past. I had a Silverado uh, back, I think it was a... Uh, I want to say it was a 98 Silverado I had a Lear on. It was a Gunsmoke Gray, loved the truck. Uh, but the Lear was awesome for me. And now back then it was, uh, it was one of those that kind of had the, the, the uh, shocks on the back where the, the back lifted up but the front stayed, stayed uh, flush with the, with the uh, truck bed. Um, but anyway, I actually considered the backflip brand. Uh, but as I look more and more into it, I, I really, you know, was more fun with the Lear. So, the other question is why would I want why did I want a bed bed cover? So first off, you know, what did I look for you know on, on bed covers? First off, let me flip it around, I'll show you a few things. I wanted something that had a flush look. You know, so if you come down here, you, know, you really don't see it stick up. I've seen some in the past, but you know, that really would kind of kind of come up to here and kind of hump down or even not here. But as you can see, this this layer is flush, and I just think it, it gave it a clean look. You know, um, you know. I also didn't want one that would kind of get out, get in the way of hauling stuff. So, say I buy a couch, right? So a lot of these brands here, they uh, the, the very back one stays the way it is. Or I even considered one that uh, that rolled up. There's actually one that's electric. You hit a button and it'll just just tore all the way up. You get back here to this cab, and about this much space of your cab's missing. So I didn't want that one. So I wanted one that, that actually would fold up and then lean up against the glass, uh, flush with the glass so I didn't lose bed space. You know, it's, it's not a large bed as it is. Um, I wouldn't say this, this bed's waterproof, you know, guys. Uh, as you know, my truck's big enough where it's not like I can really take it through a, a car wash. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm sporting 37 inch tires, 1450 wides. Uh, I take it to a, a manual car wash where I spray it down and stuff like that. Uh, and my experience is it gets very little to no water. You know, this one doesn't have the tubes I think that the backflip does for drainage and stuff. The front stays really, really dry. Back here, I think maybe through this gap here, there maybe get a little bit of water, but very, very little. Uh, you know, again, I wouldn't say it's waterproof, but it's definitely, I would say kind of water resistant. Uh, I wouldn't put like a, I don't know, uh, Something you don't want to get wet in the very back, just in case, but good chances are it stays pretty dry. So, um, the other thing I did, I wanted something, if I didn't need to haul something, it would lock up. So, right now my truck's locked. So, if you look at this, it's not doing anything. I can't lift this up. Um, so, I wanted something to lock my stuff back there. Um, and Rob, honestly, I love the way the, the Lear looks. I mean, this, this hard texture stuff's really nice. It's strong. You know, there's times where if I need to get up there, hop on these 37s, climb up there, and like to even clean the back window, for example. I've sat on this thing and uh, clean back windows. Um, I think they're rated at 400 pounds. I looked online. Um, but anyway, so like I said at the beginning, I bought this for nothing but uh, for strictly... For a trip we put luggage back there and wanted to keep it dry and um i'll be surprised like i'm surprised on how many times i've actually used it i do like how the uh the Lear logo and by the way this is dirty it's been raining in indiana for like the last week but i'm gonna go ahead and pop it open it rained this morning let's see if there's any water back here so yeah so you see there's just a tad bit tad bit of water over here Looks like the side it did leak just a little bit uh, but we've had a lot of rain this morning you're looking back here that's my uh mick tuning sent me that a little while ago i did a video on it. it's just elastic net that holds stuff down i can actually stand underneath that vet that net and it hold me down but 
Um, but here's my top. I'm going to show you what it looks like. So I've got these levers on each side. You basically just, just pinch them in. You just got to do one side. It flips up. So on the other end, there's another set of levers. So on which side you're on, and then you flip it up. So right, and that, that's kind of how it looks. Now the next the next round here, you don't have to pinch anything. It just flips up. Okay. But then the third one, if you look here, I'm going to hold the camera in. Hey, let me go this way. Let's go this way. So again, there's another set of these hooks on both ends. So I'm going to go ahead and pinch it. And I'm on the left side of my truck that's about a foot taller than an average truck. And that's kind of how it looks, okay? Um, and then you got another set of locks. I'm going to go from the side here. Well, let me, let me go ahead and get up into it because i got to show you guys really... I want to show you what the how, how it gets hold up to the window. So uh, let me flip around real quick. All right, so I hopped up in the back of this truck real quick. Um, so this is the last lever here. So you got one on this side, again one on that side. So I'm gonna go ahead and pinch this, and lift it up. So okay. So now you see there's like a shock absorber there, right, on both ends. So on this thing here, you get closely. Uh, it, it just pops in there like that. And then on this, you basically just line it up with that, locks into place. There's another one on the other end. Same story. Comes out real easy. So, piece of cake, right? And then so, as you're riding your truck or hauling around, it gives you pretty much your entire bed space all the way around. So, now. You know, if you ever need to say you're, you're riding it, you need to put it back down, you gotta unhook these. And if you look at it closely, there's just a little lever. You push it that way, pull it out, put it back in here so it's not flopping around on you. So same thing on this side. Lever. There we go. Now, say you wanna take the whole bed off. Basically, you just follow the same steps. You um, grab this lever, both sides. There's a there's a yellow strap, safety straps on each side. You unhook those and you basically just lift up. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how easy it is to fold back as well. So I'll do this with one hand. All right, one, next one. And that really brings you the last one. I'll go ahead and put it down. It'll latch even though I don't have the uh, it's all get closed all right so there it is again and again it's been raining the last few days but i'm gonna go ahead and give you a little bit of a closer look to it these things here or uh just basically if you want to just strap it down the, the yellow hooks i showed you back there these ones here say so you don't so you don't want to roll them all down you have those straps you could put in to keep it from moving around but um, anyway gang I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to lift this one back up so I can close the uh, my bed so lift that one back up prop the tailgate up I'll come back over here and almost every time that's all it takes is just a little slap down every once in a while I have had to push this side down but really very simple but anyway guys so I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up hf 650m um i can't remember the price point it's under 700 bucks uh, i think i picked this one up on amazon actually but uh really just uh it, I, I recommend it I, I would buy another one i talked to lear uh customer service one time because i was concerned about those plastic clips to see if i could order extra ones um just a question they actually sent me extra ones as a spare so i got those in my garage you know the ones that uh, kind of hold the shock as we're on uh, but easy people to talk to on Instagram. They've supported me. They've actually reposted a couple of my things, like all my posts, if there's anything out there I put on it. But anyway, I'm going to wrap it up. I want to say thanks again for uh, subscribing. Uh, give, me a, give me a follow there on Instagram as well or TikTok, uh, F150 underscore boss. Uh, comment below what you think I should do next to the truck or if there's any other reviews or, or if anything I can do to help, just let me know. Hope you're having an awesome holiday season and Happy New Year to you.